What is going on, everybody? I'm your host for this evening. My name is Lance Shark Rosa, and if this is your first time coming in or returning back to the series, I want to welcome you guys in, and I hope you guys enjoy the video that we have for you today. Now, previously on the last episode, we went through Naranja Academy and everything that I had to offer. We figured out all of the things that we need to do in the game in order to progress in the story. So, with that being said, this video is going to be accompanied by my amazing brothers, all right? Now, unfortunately, unfortunately, I wasn't able to pick up their audio through the Discord call. So, we broke this down into the compilation of the shenanigans that transpired with all of, <laughs> with everything that we've done. So, I hope you guys enjoy and have a look. Not Knockly? What the fuck is a Knockly? No, oh, that's a lot of damage! Throw a Pokeball at him. Let's go, son. Shark a dead? Woo! Go mud shot. Oh, he used Ember. Oh, oh great heavens! Like this man's stupid dick. I gotta get out of here. I couldn't get away. He used water balls. I'm dead. <laughs> All right, well, that was nice. <laughs> Yo, what a jerk. Oh, so just a toad. Oh, oh, <laughs> The Stony Cliff Titan. All right, uh, I'm gonna terrestrialize and I'm just gonna go Magical Leaf. Let's go. See if we can beat this guy's doonies down. Alright. Oh, the rock smash. No. God. Oh, my lordy. Anger shot. Oh, that's not good. I did not know that this man, that's his ability. Speed. This raises everything. Oh, defense fell. Yeah. Oh, yo! Swirly lived on one HP. Let's go! Oh, and he's still not dead, though. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Oh, he left. Never mind. Find the Stony Cliff Titan. I don't want to find this guy no more because he just beat my ass. Come here. The Titan Cloth began eating something. Oh, my God. Land Shark, you found it. That thing's the Stony Cliff Titan. No cloth has got any business being that big. Is it going to be stronger now after eating those herbs? The mystical ganja. Yeah, I'm not really feeling this no more. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, battle. Trash lies, and let's go. Look at that. Shelter use Leer. Oh, thank you so much, Shelter. I appreciate you, bro. Appreciate that. Oh, 
Oh god, Swirly! You do have to. Yo, Shelter keeps using Leer, and I don't know why. Bro, this guy Arvin is no help. And there's the Anger Shell. I don't like this. Oh, no. Alright, uh, I'm going to heal up my boy because I definitely need to. Damn. Don't tell him I was gonna kill. It killed Swirly. Come on, man. Come on, this game, bro. All right, quick attack this drawn Fletchling. Quick attack. There you go. Got him. Send him back to the lawn. Send him back to the cleaners. All right, look at my little buddy coming through like a champ. But these time Pokemon are yeesh. I sure don't like having something so tough to get to get me. Yo. There it is, the mystical ganja plant. Yes, sir. Wow. The sweet herb of Mystica is good for gut health and it helps aid digestion. I need that, bro. Now if I can just get him to eat some. Ooh. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good with that one. An orange original sandwich packed full of herbs. Ho <laughs> ho. I call it a Titan badge. Made it myself using a replica of the gym badges. <laughs> Bro, my man made a Herba Mystica chopped cheese. <laughs> like, this is crazy. Yo, the Aki way. He got it the Aki way. And then, bro, like, sure, sure. Do you want to give your sandwich to karate? Yeah, sure. Karate artery? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, yeah. This guy, bro. Nah, this guy Arvin's bad thing. This man, this man Arvin, mass suspicious. You thought bozo? Get pecked, bitch. 
Oh, I don't think I'm living this. Oh! <laughs> Terastalize! <laughs> Impact the sand! Give him a good peck. It wasn't, it wasn't enough, Timmy! You scouted and you killed my flat kitty! No! Cops at a rose. Uh oh, so early evolving? Oh, let's go. And my man clapping in the background. Let's see it. Oh, snap. Flo Flo Flora Gato. Wow, look at this. Beautiful. Just the grass cat. It is. The diamond. It's just the diamond. Oh, he's level 37. Bro, this, this is rough. I don't want to do this no more. Can I run? Yeah, I got away safely. Fuck that. Oh, Fletchling's evolving. Let's go, Chief. Let's go, boys. God hell. Fletch, Fletchender. All right, come on, come on, great ball, great ball, great ball. Let's go. We call the trail. He has assurance. Okay, but I have poison point. <laughs> Bitch. Okay, that doesn't work. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh... Bro, how am I fighting this Tauros? When a good thing goes bad... Bro, what the heck? Tauros just used that on me! Oh! No, I use toxic spikes. I'm dead. I wanted to run. <laughs> so cry if you need to. Oh, Wooper's evolving. Oh, snap. Hold on. Hold on. It's like you're going out of here. What is this? A Kalanza. <laughs> what is this, bro? Ew, the spiny frizz. I don't want this shit. You know what, Spark? <gasps> Latrell, how dare you, son? Not one of the. Oh my god, Latrell. <laughs> and Latrell's loafing around. Alright, Latrell. Bitch. Yo, Latrell, stop loafing around, son. Yo, she just hit you with the foul stinger, bro. Oh my god, Latrell! How awesome was that? If you guys want to see more content like that with between me and my brothers, make sure to drop a comment down below. And if you made it to the video this far, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I would really do appreciate it if you guys do. Now, we are going to be um, going out and getting some badges, all right? Because clearly, clearly some of the Pokemon that I caught aren't listening to me so that means that i have no other choice but to go out and uh get some gym badges so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out to the grass gym leader and we're gonna go fight him because i heard he's super easy and we can beat the doonies down so that's exactly what we're going to be doing
all right now with the team that i have we should be able to do this easy peasy uh you know what i'm saying without without a shadow of that we're gonna be beating some doonies down getting our badges and then after the after we get the badge we're probably gonna wrap it up um now here is the team so far i might swap out one of the i'm thinking fletching dirt but i know fletching dirt i'm gonna need so we're gonna we're gonna take a break on swapping our pokemon just for right now until i'm done with the gym leader so that's first things first bro look at the windmill yo look at the windmill yo the windmill looks like it needs wd-40 son stop it oh my god so we're gonna head on over we're gonna fight this guy and progress in the story i know there was a lot of things that we couldn't do because we weren't able to get to the certain places because we haven't upgraded our dragon yet or our legendary cycler cyclone thingy whatever either way let's head inside let's get it cracking all right now i know oh look there's namona oh hey Jack. what up namona what up baby Came to see this gym, huh? That can only mean one thing. You're out to earn some gym badges and take on the Pokemon League, aren't you? Yes, of course. Yes, I knew it. I'm so glad I asked you to do it. Before you can battle the gym leader, you got to pass a certain challenge set by them, their gym test. Each gym test is different. If you ask the lobby staff about it, they'll tell you what's up. Here, have these. When you use them, consider me healing up your Pokemon. Three super potions. Yo, Nimona, you know how many super potions and hyper potions I got out in the wild? A lot more than I would think, to be honest with you. It's kind of crazy. I'm so glad you're aiming to be a champion, too. This is the best news ever. Say less, baby. Man, I'm so excited. I can barely stand still. All right. See you later, skater. Look at my man, Fat Albert, over here. Yeah, what's going on? What's going on, Fat Albert? But, um... I was going to say something, but I lost my train of thought. Welcome to the Artisan, Artisan Gym. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Landshark, yes? Do you know my dad? <laughs> Where is my father? Now, in order to face gym leader Brasius, you'll first need to pass the gym test. What is this, like a practical? That means completing a game of some flora hide and seek. As you may know, Artazone is a city of artists. The artwork made by the people here is largely inspired by nature and the sun that nurtures it. Since some flora embodies these concepts, we try to gather them and take good care of them. Your job is to find the some flora located throughout Artazone. Remember, these Pokemon look like sun shaped flowers. Gather up 10 of them and bring them to some floral lawn. You'll pass the test. Really? Really? I gotta do a test? Yo, this is kind of cheese. I'm thinking some floral lawn is the big maze. Is that what that is? Either way. So, I almost forgot, y'all. We do have a challenge ahead of us. We have a challenge out of us, and I think, where is it? Is it over here? Oh, oh, okay, okay. Hi there, I look after the AutoZone Gym Sunflora. I hope you're ready, challenger. It's time for a game of Sunflora Hide and Seek. I'll go ahead and ask the Sunflora to spread themselves around town. Oh boy. Gym test. Seek out the Sunflora and AutoZone. All right, boys. All right, y'all. Let's get it. Let's get it cracking. Um, I was about to say, like, I can't move, so. Yeah, this game is not looking that good right now. These aren't Sunflora? That is Sunflora. Well, that was quite easy. All right, there was three some floor right there. Does the pot does, does the pot count? No, it doesn't work. It doesn't. But I didn't know that the gym leader made it. Made the um some floor statues. That's actually kind of dope. I'm not gonna lie. Gonna go around, try to see everything. I know. Yeah, I was about to say. I know there's one over here hiding. This man's crouching. This, this is not even hide and seek. This is like, yo fam, we're just crouching. Alright, so that was number five. 
So we're halfway done already. Look at this guy. I bet you there's one in the maze. I bet you there's a lot in the maze. All right, that's out of town. There it is. So that's seven and eight. Jump on down. Jump back in. Is this cheating? <laughs> like, is that, is that, does that count as cheating? I bet you he's in the center. He's in the center of the bush. He's gotta be. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Told you. I knew it. I knew it. Come on, son. It ain't that. It ain't. I ain't that goofy. Oh, that's a dope statue. All right. So we gotta bring him back to the um some floral lawn. Found all ten. Pretty easy to do. It was crazy because all three of them were like right next to me. They're like, "Hey, yo, fam, what's goody?" <laughs> like, like yo, we ain't even try to play hide and seek because this ain't working. Because we don't know how to play hide and seek. That was mad easy. I feel like though, as the gyms progress, I feel like each test is gonna be harder. I don't know why. I remember playing Brilliant Diamond, right? And I had to take on the ice gym, but the ice puzzle that was in there was mad hard for no reason. Or, or it's also because I'm not good at puzzles. That's why I suck at puzzles. Now, please head back to the lobby at the AutoZone gym to report to your results. Say less, bro. Say less. Let's get this party started, so they ain't gonna be ready for me. They're not gonna be ready for your boy. And the good thing about it is Fletchinger is fire flying. And they're just grass types. Unless they have like a grass rock type, then I'm gonna be a little nervous. But if they don't, <laughs> we're gonna be bulldozing these people. Are you ready to challenge gym leader Brasius the Verdant Virtuoso? Is that the green Virtuoso? Isn't, isn't ver, ver, Verdant? I don't even know how to pronounce it. Oh my god. Isn't that green? In Spanish? I, think. I could be wrong though. I could be wrong. Well, let's see. Greetings, Challenger. Oh, we're just going straight into it. Yo, um, I'm gonna be honest, Brasius. Why is your windmill like not working? Why is it why is it moving at like five frames per second? Talk to me, son. And he has a whip. I don't know how I feel about this. You did well to come this far, thanks, pal. I'm Brasius, an artist specializing in grass type Pokemon. I'm also the gym leader here at the AutoZone gym. I was observing your gym test from atop of the windmill, you know. The perce the perception you displayed in finding some floor was truly oh, how shall I describe it? Yes, it was truly avant-garde. Yes, I only pray that you might demonstrate that eye for our beauty in battle as well. All right, let's go, baby. That is crazy, though. I kind of do miss, like, fighting, like, the gym, like, the gym people inside the gym. I know I said gym, like, five times already. I do apologize, y'all. All right, Latrell, let's see what you got, baby. I might have to swap you out because I know you're not listening. You're on some bad behavior. I'm on my worst behavior. No. Nope. I feel like we should do that. Whenever like he's like loafing around, we gotta do like some bad behavior stuff. We gotta we gotta dub Drake in it. Never mind. Look at this guy, Mega Drain. But um, I'm gonna be honest though. I think when in terms of like gym battles. Sword and Shield has the best theme music. The best theme music. I don't care what nobody says. Yeah, so he got bulldozed. We're good. Um, Now, we're not going to risk it. So we're going to swap Latrell out for Fletchinger. He's going to spring out Smoliv. I don't think I've ever seen Smoliv. So we're just going to go, like I said, Fletchinger. The only problem is his terror type's normal. And I really don't like that. <laughs> like, 
I really don't like that. I wish it was like fire or something, but it is what it is. I'm not, you know, I ain't crying about it. I ain't lying about it, but. Oh, I've seen Smollum. Too bad he's getting hit. He's about to get bulldozed with his flame charge. Good night, GG's. GG's easy. Critical hit. What are y'all doing? Talk to me nice. Speed Rose. Whoa! Speed Rose. Call me D Rose. Oh my god. Let me not even get into it. Sudo Wudo. Oh my god. No, this guy's just pure rock. He's not even grass. This man is literally pure rock. I kind of want to go Finizen. Yeah, I'm going to go Finizen. Or, actually, I'm going to go Thing. I'm going to go Cloudsire. I'm going to go Cloudsire because I know damn well that Dolphin, that goddamn Dolphin, always loafs around. I can't trust him. I can't trust him. I can't. Let's have promise, yes. Let us lead this artistic endeavor to its conclusion at once. Okay. Chula Wudo. Oh, shoot. Is it going to be a terror type? Yep. You know, I was thinking it. I was like, there, there might be a way that he's going to turn into the grass. There it is right there. Yeah. I should have thought about that. However, however, we can terrestrialize Clogsire. Trailblaze? What's Trailblaze? Oh, is it like Flame Charge? Oh, shit. I did not know that, but his speed fell. So we just we just negated his stat change. So so we're gonna terrestrialize. I'm I'm kind of surprised that they kept the cheers from like Sword and Shield, but the music is twenty times better in Sword and Shield. I'm gonna be honest. So we're gonna terrestrialize Clodzire. He oh that's dope. <laughs> I like that. I like that. The skull and crossbones? That's dope. I use Cheryl Blaze. That's not gonna do anything since I'm poisoned. Just straight pure poison. We're gonna use poison tip and the poison point. Yes, sir, Cloud's Eyes. You see, this is why I fucks with you, Cloud's Eyes. That's why I fucks with you. Kind of. Bang! Oh! With the poison, he might heal him up, though. He might max heal him. No, he just went straight for the rock. Yeah, so if I brought in Fletching or uh, Fletching there, I would have died. I would have lost. He would have got one tap by Sudowoodo. Klaatire came through in the clutch. I'm not going to lie. He came through in the clutchy clutch. Let's go, boys. Let's go, team. Yeah, yeah, give me that shit, bro. Run that fade, bro. How about the guard, yeah? Yeah, give me that money, bro. Run me my bread. Run me my bread and run me my badge. Run me my badge. Oh, what artistic tactics you employ. Yes, sir. The patterns of your moves, the minute details of your per Pokemon's performance, everything you did was honed to perfection. Our battle was in a world, in a word art. Indeed, if we could not call that a work of artistry, then nothing else in this world could be labeled as such. Hey. If I were to judge your work, I would say it passes my inspection. Yes, a a pass without exception. Yo, this man spit in the bars, bro. Hold on. You about to take a selfie together? Hey, let's go, son. Yes, sir. If you possess one gym badge, it'll be easier to catch Pokemon up to level 25, and those Pokemon should follow your commands as well. Well, there we go. There it is. Now that dolphin and Latrell is gonna ob obey me. They're gonna fucking obey me. And we got Trailblaze. So the user attacks suddenly as if it's leaping out from tall grass. The user's nimble footwork boosts its speed stat. So it's kind of like Flame Charge. That's actually kind of dope. Alright, so, 
Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. With that being said, that is going to be the end of the video right there. I hope you guys enjoyed the video that we had for you today. Like I said before, if you guys want to see more content within between me and my brothers, make sure to drop a comment down below. And as always, y'all, this has been your boy Landshark Ghost speaking. Treat every day like a Friday, and I'll catch you guys later, baby. Take care.